Hello guys and welcome to my second tutorial on effects. Today we're going to be working on fire, the fire element. And I am going to teach you guys a very simple but effective way of making fire. Uh, we're going to work on a torch fire, basically. And um, I'm going to teach you a technique that most and all beginners can use. You want to start by clicking on the library new symbol and call this symbol fire or whatever you wish to call it call that one. there we go and fill it in be sure to fill in the inside and leave as much gap as you can we're gonna be using um the same procedure that we used when we were making the the smoke effect if you remember or if you saw it then add another frame and be sure to use the onion skin fill it in fill 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 next and keep your onion skin short to so the last frame so that you don't get confused Now, remember, fire rises, so you want to show that, that at least it's rising from one side, so that we can detach it. You'll see what I mean. Next frame. Remember, fire is very unpredictable. You can get better results by studying fire. There's different flames. There are flames that are subtle and calm, and others that aren't. And are moving very violently, kind of like this one. There we go. Now you want to go back and start using yellow and start filling in some yellow inside. Now remember, you can use different shades of colors to give it more realism or different colors. For real fire, I'd rather use um, colors such as orange and orangey red and a light yellow. It's very simple, you can do this in about three minutes, which I hope is the same amount of time this will take. See guys, very simple just playing around with color there we go and we're done see how that looks looks pretty decent 
Now what you want to do is give it an extra frame so it can slow down a bit. Remember, I'm animating at 29.97, well, 30 frames per second. So if you're if you um, are animating on something lower then let's say like 15 or less you don't need to worry about doing this or like 18 frames per second alright I'm just gonna fill in some gaps I feel like I'm missing fire seems to be too light in some areas again I'm using a tablet but you guys can do this with the mouse it's very simple to do it's just scribbling all over the place like doing little scribbles you don't need a ta you don't need a tablet to do this now a tablet does make anything every process a lot faster especially a digital one alright guys so we're done and we can play it back see how that looks now what you want to do is exit the, the the movie clip and then bring it to the stage once you bring it to the stage we're gonna play with the properties and we're going to add a filter right here under filters you add the blur effect and you want to blur this image specifically, since it's small, I want to blur it to about 10 points or maybe 11. Well, that's 13. Well, 13 seems to work. And keep it at a low quality because what you're looking to get is the um, the the particle effect. Not the particle, I mean the pixelization effect. And another thing you might want to add is a glow of a light yellow, like a sandy yellow. You don't need to mess with those properties. Now you you play around with the properties depending on how big your image is. But now you can play it back and this is what you get. See how that looks? Now that looks like very simple easy fire and it only took me about 3 minutes to do. I hope you guys learned something and congratulations. You just learned something new from Oscar.